Uh, Ethiopia. Um, there have been a few de developments in the past few days. Um, notably, the TPLF saying that they're going to advance into Afar um, in terms of what they say is, is uh, activity by pro government forces. There have been some aid deliveries as well. Can, can you just give an update on where you see things going and on the U.S. diplomatic engagement? Uh, so I will start by saying um, that uh, we have long called for an immediate uh, cessation of hostilities, a transparent investigation into human rights abuses and violations by all actors, unhindered humanitarian access, uh, and a negotiated resolution to the conflict in Ethiopia. Uh, and we've done that because uh, it is a conflict that not only has inflicted uh, humanitarian harm on the people of uh, the region, but also poses uh, a threat to peace and security uh, in the Horn of Africa. Reports of renewed fighting in the Afar region are very concerning, and we repeat our calls to all actors to cease all offensive operations, which also hinder that humanitarian access that we all know is so crucial. Uh, we welcome the Council of Ministers' January 26 determination uh, to lift the nationwide state of emergency. We hope this decision will be approved soon by the House of People's Representatives. Uh, we call on the government to release all those detained under this state of emergency, and we encourage the active participation of all parties in an inclusive national dialogue that pursues a shared vision for a prosperous and democratic Ethiopia. These discussions should also include commitments to comprehensive, transparent uh, justice mechanisms. As you know, uh, it was uh, last week, um, I, uh, well, just a few days ago, I should say, uh, where uh, Assistant Secretary Fee and Special Envoy Satterfield uh, held uh, productive meetings with uh, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi uh, and other government officials. Uh, the Assistant Secretary and the Special Envoy expressed uh, the U.S. commitment to the unity, the sovereignty, uh, the territorial uh, integrity of Ethiopia. Uh, they uh, followed up on President Biden's uh, constructive call uh, with the Prime Minister that uh, took place a couple week weeks ago now. Uh, they used the opportunity to encourage, to encourage government officials uh, to seize what we believe is a current opening uh, for uh, peace by, again, ending hostilities, negotiating a ceasefire, releasing all those detained, restoring uh, humanitarian access on a sustained uh, basis, and laying the foundation for an inclusive national dialogue, importantly, with the participation of all parties. Uh, fundamentally, uh, we believe that this is uh, the best path forward to end the widespread suffering and human rights abuses uh, that this conflict has wrought. Uh, that's why we're pursuing uh, this robust diplomacy. That's why we are um, advocating for this path. Thank you all very much. As I said at the very beginning, I got a couple. Now okay. I have more.